I can take a look at it, but I'll probably be terrible. And once again, I'm not looking to... If you weren't here for other streams... Um... I'm not exactly looking to do all of this. This is not for 100% completion. This is just for fun. Godmaster is the boss rush DLC. Okay. All right, so, oh look, it's this thing. All right, chat, so uh, what the hell do I do with this thing? For Godmaster, you need a simple key if you want. We can direct you to where the key... Um... I'm good for now. Hey, how you doing? It's me, Jay Leno. No? Mr. Leno. Get, on, get over here, Mr. Leno. Jay Leno should not be a recurring impression on the stream. I know how fucking terrible it is. It needs to not happen. It's almost like a Cicero... ...impression. The thing that I'm doing wrong, I think, with the Jay Leno impression is he's got- he's not that high! I mean, maybe he is, but... Like, his voice is a little bit less high than that. Oh, shit. I don't have a compass. That I'm probably gonna need a compass. Especially since he got older. It's not quite as high-pitched. Okay, here's the thing. Fuck off. It's like Elma Elmo clown. You can tell I've been away from this game for a while, haven't you? Or can't you? So, I, I kind of understand what's happening. I have to consume the flames of the different, like, Clown Elmos. Okay, I get it. So how many Clown Elmos are there? There's, there's, uh, one, two, three. That's it. Three Clown Elmos. Let's go do the other ones. As for the Godmaster DLC, I'd be happy to check it out for a second. So if you guys want to direct me to it after I'm done with Clown DLC, that sounds good. Um... I guess while I'm playing this now, let me just kind of reflect on my experience with it. Bupkis. Baklava. Bupkis. So for anyone new to the stream or anyone who didn't catch all of my Hollow Knight streams, I just want to let you know that this game... This game was great. I felt like maybe it was a little long, but I don't think the length bothers most people. I think most people like the fact that it's a long game. It's probably one of the better Metroidvanias, one of the most well-crafted Metroidvanias I've ever played. Um, it's extremely... It's extremely difficult at times, but not in a way that makes me want to eat pant. I think people who have a Switch that have not, um... ...have not gotten a game that they've wanted for a while... Like, if you're, if, you know, if you're a Switch owner, and there's not a lot of great first-party shit that's out at the moment that you want... Hollow Knight is a game I'd recommend. Dead Cells... Uh, Hollow Knight might be one of my first recommendations, maybe in the top three. 
like along with um Isaac. So that's how much I enjoyed this. And um but I know a lot of people said that they weren't into it. I know they weren't into it. Which is weird because I, maybe it's the difficulty, maybe it's the, the, the backtracking, maybe it's how much of a game there is. I don't know. But it's hard for me to imagine someone not liking this game, but I guess it, it could happen. Also, someone in chat mentioned that Isaac is potentially getting some new DLC. I saw that. Nicholas and Ed tweeted something about that. Someone said it's kind of boring. I mean, I don't think so, but in a game like this, if you're not into Metroidvanias, it's going to be a little bit boring. The backtracking is going to be an issue. There were times where I was playing this and it was dreadfully boring. Just going through the, the same areas. I think that's more of a problem with the genre, and, and as opposed to the game necessarily. But there's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of bosses, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. I think people who like Dark Souls, to some extent, will enjoy this as well. Because of the way the... the... death system is set up. And the boss's difficulty and everything. Really tight gameplay, really fun combat, good music. Um, I know the visuals put a couple people off, too. Go to the Colosseum for the simple key, I will. Alright, I'll do that in a little bit. Let me uh, continue on my journey here. Someone said, hang on a minute, I'm cu curious about this. Like, I, I like hearing people's perspectives on things. I like trying to understand why someone might not like something where I like something, or vice versa. Because there's a lot of shit that I don't like that people love. And... I try to see it from their perspective, and I, I hope that people can understand mine, too, when I... don't like something. Like, dude, stop. God. I'm no stranger to, like, streamer bait. I'm an imperfect being. I've played streamer bait. I've enjoyed some streamer bait. I like physics-based streamer bait. But man, Vinny, did you hear that Dude Stop is getting ported to the Switch? Did you hear that Hello Neighbor is getting a sequel? A multiplayer hide-and-seek sequel with, like, Babs in it. That's something I don't understand. I can't... I just can't get how Hello Neighbor became such a huge thing to the point where if I go to Wildwood, there's a Hello Neighbor clown doll in one of the stores. I just don't know who plays it. That's the thing, I don't know who plays Hello Neighbor. Like, I played it a couple times on stream. Because, as a streamer, it felt like a fun stream game, and when I first played it, it had potential. Like, I was like, oh, Hello Neighbor could be cool, like, people seem to enjoy this. I like the idea of the weird, creepy neighbor hiding something. What kind of insidious story could there be here? What kind of weird traps does this neighbor have in his house? But then, as the game continued development, it got kind of worse. And then it just kind of stopped being intriguing to me. But its popularity had grown. So I think we're going to see a lot of neighbor games for a long time to come.
I just don't know who's playing it. Like, it's not a terrible game. It's not the worst thing I've ever played by far, but it's just... I didn't expect it to be what it is. Weird. But then there's also We Happy Few, which had a very disappointing beta that I, I was just so disappointed with. I hated it. And it glitched all over the place. And now apparently it's kind of good. A terribly charismatic beta. It's okay. It's not bad. It's still bad. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I heard a lot of things. I heard a lot of things. I don't know. Baba Gondala. Mm. Very good. The child burns with flame. Master is waiting for you. So was this the first DLC that came out after this game launched? I can feel it. The warmth of the flame you've gathered together. A masterful opening. This is the second one. Okay. A masterful opening act. The air hums with excitement. Dear child, you've done so well. Let your fire burn even brighter. Beautiful. Yes, the child has grown from idle youth to deadly companion about these dangerous lands. Its aid will no doubt be welcome. Well, not anymore. Just don't neglect our dance, for it too continues. Keep hunting the scattered scarlet essence. When the child is filled with flame once more, return to the stage and performance will begin. First was Hidden Dreams with Zote and the White Defender. Okay, so now I have to find some more fire. Well, hey, if this is a fetch quest, then I say let the conversation begin. If this is a fetch quest, then at least I have a chance to bullshit about video games and stuff for a bit, so I'm gonna do that, but... Um, it's by the Coliseum. Can I get here from King Station? It seems like they're not connect- oh yeah, kinda. Okay. So, what else? Hello Neighbor has a sequel. Binding of Isaac might have more DLC. I feel like there's another thing. We already talked Spelunky 2 the other day. Oh, Subnautica. Yeah, Subnautica new DLC. It's a standalone DLC, apparently. So it's gonna be called, um... Sub-Zero? No. Cold Fusion. Below Zero, it's called. Okay. Arctic Crust. I like that better. Uh, yeah, it looks- it looks cool. Like, I like the idea of it. The winter biome is gonna be a lot of fun. And I like that it's standalone. Um, I moved my save files to a different drive because they were just taking up so much goddamn space. That game has fucking massive save files. Oh shit, new... new lad. No Man's Sky started community events in the latest update. I heard about that. I mean, I say good on them for the support, and continued support, and bug fixes. Like I said, I'm good on it for a little while. I had my fun. I'm gonna wait until the next substantial update. I mean, I may play it again on my own, but I'm not gonna stream it for a while, I don't think. 
I just um, even if I like a game, I get I get like kind of bored of it. Shit. But yeah, it's a uh, it's kind of cool. Can't wait for Subnautica. Jesus. Cutting it down to the fucking wire. Any other game news that I haven't touched on? Silent Hill 2 is getting a fan-made remastering mod. People were recommending that to me. That's not already done. Because I had people saying that I should use that. I should stream that. I already talked Cyberpunk for a while. On a previous stream. I already talked Shovel Knight. I, I talked Spelunky. Um... So, wait a minute. What- what's, um... What's going on with that Silent Hill 2 thing? Is that ready or is it not ready yet? Because I want to play it by October. If I recall correctly, you said you would stream Silent Hill during a previous Halloween, but you never did. You recall incorrectly, actually. Not to be, um, a scrotum to you, but... The correct recall is this. I said last year that I would stream it next year. And guess what? Next year is here. And October is a month away, which means Silent Hill 2 stream incoming. But I wanna, um, I wanna stream... I had a couple emails about um, a remastered version, so I might do that. Anyway, the year I'm talking about is 2020. Which is the year after the next, of course. Didn't want to be a scrotum. No, I'm kidding. It'll happen in October. I really... I really want to stream that. That's going to be like the main October game. I've never played it before, so I don't know what I'm in for. And I'm sure I'll find the right version. Wow. Well, you're an annoying asshole, aren't you? At least the Bab is doing damage. Fuck it. Once again. <laughs> Once again, one HP left. Bab clutch. Uh, 
A video comparing this SH2 remaster to the original is on YouTube was uploaded today. Yeah, cool. That sounds great. I want to check it out. I, I don't know what I'm going to stream yet because I've, I've had issues with remasters as well, if you remember correctly. Some of my um, quote unquote remaster streams didn't go so well. Resident Evil 4 went great, aside from a couple of early hitches. But then, like, when I first started streaming Metroid Prime 2, that was a little bit iffy, and... Sometimes these versions aren't all that stable. Sometimes they... lead to problems that I don't really want to run into, so I don't know. I'll either stream the HD edition that was released officially, which I'm hearing exists, or a remastered edition. I'm gonna do my research first. Should I play Scum? Don't stream the HD one, it's awful. Vinny, do not do the HD one. Thank you. This is good. This is good information. Battlefield 5 is being delayed. It's not your interest, but it's game news. It is game news. I don't really know what's going on with that. I don't really follow it anymore. I gotta be honest. I liked Battlefield 1 well enough. I'm good. I got my World War II fill with Call of Duty World War II, and guess what? It wasn't that good. It was... It was pretty okay. It kept my attention for a little while. But... I'm, uh, I'm good. Apparently, people didn't pre-order Battlefield 5 enough. Are people finally not pre-ordering games? Are- are we learning? The delay was not related to the pre-order thing? Okay, well, I don't know what's going on with it. Again, I can't really comment too much on it because I have not very much interest. I do not think I will be purchasing that game. And, uh... That's about it there. However, I do keep seeing Doom Eternal um, GIFs from the Doom Twitter account, and it continues to look great. I really, I really like that. So much laugh. <laughs> That one, alright. Red Dead 2 hasn't been delayed again, which is good news. I, I really don't think they would have big signs up in Manhattan. Unless they were ready. I think the reason we haven't heard about this game for so long and didn't see gameplay for two months is because they wanted to avoid the inevitable delays. So they just said, if we- if no one knows when the game comes out, then we can't delay it. Vinny, you should do System Shock 2 in October. I'm not sure I want to. Also, you typed that a lot. A lot. That's actually every message since you got here was about System Shock 2. You must be a fan. Um, I've heard great things about System Shock 2. Is that the remaster version that's uh, coming out?
I mean, who knows? If the remaster ends up being good, I might, you know, I might be inclined to check it out. I have heard great things, but it, let's just say it's not something that I'm... It's not something that's on my mind. I know it's a late 90s game, and I remember what the original looks like. So, let's see. I think uh, Night Dive Studios is handling the remaster, and they're the dudes that did the Torok remasters. Anyway. Wonderful, wonderful! My kin arrive, and the time has come! The searing fire, it carries well the rituals per promise. I should have done this voice before. Dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits! Show them you are worthy of a starring role! Just in time for me to suck at this game again. Oh, nice bullet hell. for me to fight a boss to being away from this game for a while. Shit. Can I throw an extra charm on now? Or no, I need this one, right? Don't attack him at the start, and he won't inflate. You, dude. <sighs> Got a little further, at least. So Jeff Goldblum was on Hot Ones, and it was it was weird. It was really weird. Yes, he he, he uh, yes. That's terrible. But it was very, very weird. I don't know how else to describe- Oh shit, sorry about that. Broke the rules. Good, and I'm taking all this cool damage. Who would have thought that this dude was going to betray me after getting his, uh, his stuff?
fucker. Fuck. Somehow that attack always gets me. This is him testing you, not betraying you. Well, if you have a YZO complex, then everyone betray you. And you fed up with his war. Jesus. Someone said heal. That wasn't happening. Again, I I'll get it. I'll get it. I've been away from this game for a couple months. Was it a couple months? Maybe like a month and a half? Fucker, I have invincibility frames. That one, yeah, that one trips me up. This, 
dude does not respect invincibility frames. Do you respect good wood? Tell me, do you respect wood? And my palms are sweaty already? Spaghetti? Let's see, what's a good... What's a good one that I could use? Rub song? Yeah, I mean, I don't really need the soul. Sprint master. You could be using magic spells, though. It's gonna trip me up. You know what? No, let me let me do that. What what was it? It was um how do you do the one that makes you invisible? Invisible. Invincible for a second. B plus down. Down B. Gotta be in the air. I'm talking about the the fucking that. That's not B. That's A! You guys were giving me the controls for a different system. Yeah, this is the Switch version. Uh, quick Focus could be good. I do like Quick Slash a lot, but I think um, Quick Focus is the one that might actually end up getting me through this. Let's see. button and become invincible. didn't even work. I just stood still. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it the way I was doing it. Because that was working. If I could just do it better, that would be... That would be good.
Do I have to attack that? You can. You don't have to. Okay. Oh, thank God. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank fucking God. I really lost it after I paused. Good show. Are you not entertained? Bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. Look here how our child has grown, nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passionate dance. Two of you will feature in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path that illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, friend. Go out into the darkness, harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom, and then return to me and we will complete our dance. Charm Notch? Oh, fuck. That's really good. Wait, so there's another there's another boss fight after this? It's the hardest boss in the game. Good. That's a lie. Not anymore. That's encouraging. Hearing not anymore is just as encouraging. See what happens. So wait, how many flames are there? There's there's four flames now. You only need three. Okay. and meows. So that's what you get. You complete clown DLC and you just get noise. Just constant noise. Teleport is set. God, I hate this place. Fuck. 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 
Now's not a time to sneeze! So, don't need to do the thing, just need to do this. Should be, should be over here. Right? Oh, who the fuck are you? Babala, Geno. Mm, you came, the red flame I've gathered from this dead kingdom. You would claim it for our master for his final act. The ritual plays itself out once more. We like the notes in an old, old song, you and me. Mm. Endless repeating songs of sacrifice, of servitude for the ritual, for the troop, for the master. Even this child was born into invisible chains. So we serve, thus it has ever been. Yes? Take the flame, then. It is why you came here. just gonna give it to me just like that don't we have to fight it is done and yet it is merely not by fortune or it is not merely by fortune that we have meet here in the darkest furthest reaches of this world where my master's scarlet eyes cannot see us a song that never ends is no song at all you take part in the ritual yet i sense you truly have no master is it so perhaps together we can banish that livid flame and let this dead kingdom rest in peace if you wish to silence the endless song meet me where it began but if you return to the master and complete the ritual as long as you do it without regret, I will hear you. I will bear no hatred. So this is betrayal. If you follow this NPC's request, you will get locked out of the boss. This is a second ending if you miss out on the fight. I mean... Like I said, I'm not exactly doing this with the intentions of playing the game further. But I'm gonna get the other flames. What station am I going to? It says here, it'd be fun to watch you at least try the boss, but beating him can take anywhere from 50 to 100 attempts. Good lord. Yeah, I'm not doing an Agent 3 repeat from Splatoon 2, but I would definitely like to check out the boss and see why it's so hard. But I'd also maybe like to check out that um, Godcock DLC or whatever for a minute. Not that I'm planning on getting through all of it, because I probably won't, but at least I can see the beginnings of it. 
like I said, game is great. I love it. There's a lot of extra stuff, and I find myself for, with DLC for some games, I, it can be skip. Like, if I feel like I've gotten the most out of a game, sometimes I won't go back for DLC. This is a good one, though. This is actually kind of cool. God. Jesus! Godmaster is harder than the boss you're about to try. It also requires that you kill almost every boss in the game to unlock some of the content. It seems like this DLC is made for people that like to suffer. But also people that like this game so much that they want the highest level of challenge. Like that one... Like that one thing that I attempted. What the hell was that? The Path of Pain? Grim Troop has actual rewards, but Godmaster is purely for those th who want a challenge. And again, I think that's pretty awesome. I do have my reservations about developers spending all of their time with DLC and not making new games, as I talk about frequently on stream. But... I also can't deny that I appreciate when a developer supports a game, and I don't think the Hollow Knight dev devs are... I mean, they've been busy getting this thing on Switch. They've been busy, like, fleshing out the package. And also, DLC is a good promotion tool. Like, if you announce that you've got a new expansion coming out, that's another opportunity to promote your game a bit. But then, you find out that the Shovel Knight DLC is coming out in April of next year. And it's like, holy shit, you guys are working on this game for a long time. I'm not even going to be able to defeat this dude, let alone, like, God Crust final boss. <laughs> Can't, I haven't even hit it once. There's no safe point nearby either. Or was there? I don't... Is there a bench nearby? Not really. at a warp point. I always forget about the goddamn warp point. Okay, I'll set the warp warp point. I can definitely see the difficulty putting some people off. Most most of the time I would say just, you know, go for it anyway. Because 
it's rewarding. But some of the shit that I had to do on stream, like some of the fucking final bosses that I had to beat, it was a little rough. I mean, this is all bonus and extra shit, so you don't really need to do this unless you're masochistic. And some people, some people like the challenge. Agent 3. Yeah, Agent 3 was certainly something. Agent 3 was like... Revenge. I had to do it. How long is this game? Well, like 30 hours if you try to do maybe not everything, but most thing. Between thir 20 and 30 hours. <laughs> try to dash through it. That was the attempt. Yeah, this game is also, as someone is noting, a lot of laughing and a lot of gibberish. <laughs> Can you, uh, fuck off, please? <laughs> what is the boss gonna be like? If- if it's like this now? The boss is grim again, but thrice as fast. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Hollow Knight. What are you trying to do to me? Pillars of fuck. Yeah. Oh, good! Good. I have to do that one more time. If 
I sound miserable, it's because you guessed it. I'm not. I'm very happy. No, it's just this fucking... This fucking difficulty level. And it's not even... Just because I was gone for so long, it's just... Damn. It's just damn. Vinny, remember, you could be playing Beverly Hills Cop right now. Be thankful. Okay, good point. <laughs> Chat, do you think... A good idea for an item in this game or power would be to transport back to the dirt myth at any time. Independent of the teleport function. Like, um, you know. It should be hard to get, but yeah. Just put the warp at the stag station. Well, you could do that. But I mean, like, having a warp, but also having an ability to go straight back to town. That would- I think that would save a lot of time. A lot of, uh, backtracking eliminated. Okay, I think I have to take the tram here. You just save in the tram. I forgot I could do that. Memory's not so good. So I looked up the uh, Times Square B situation where a bunch of bees descended upon a hot dog stand. And it wasn't just a bunch, it was a fuckload of bees. It's still kind of a mystery as to why it happened, but apparently last year, or two years ago, there was a another swarm of bees centralized in one specific location, like on a building. So there's some, there's some theories that as the bees are flying over Manhattan around the same time each year, they want to take a break. You know, they're going to have a rest, so they just land and hang out on a hot dog stand or by a building or whatever. Like they're following their queen, I guess. Oh, speak of the devil. I didn't actually remember that I was going to a B zone. Jesus. Forgot about all this. 
Oh my god! I want to use the, sp the spin. Ah, oh, fuck. The, the sp fucking spin actually got me to win that last time. Vinny, do you think James with boobs should have said, make it double D's? What is that? Come on. That's, that's like my commentary. You could do better than that. <laughs> Prepare for trouble and make it double D's. That? Like that? <laughs> Wait a minute, how many pillars does this fucker have? I thought he only had- It was- it was a lingering pillar. Yeah. Yeah. Probably would have gotten a lot more out of this had I not, like, finished the game first. Okay. On. It's only going to be like one more hit. So I made polenta for dinner. Well, that was part of the recipe. It was. <laughs> it's going to sound gross. For some people, it was goat cheese polenta. It was a red bib recipe. I never had polenta before, so I didn't even know what the fuck it was. It was good. It was pretty. It was pretty all right. What is it? I don't know. I ate it, and I still don't know. And no, it's not placenta. I got them confused too. Oh. <laughs> 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 
here. Awesome. You fucker, I've been trying to get them HPs! I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even see God Crust. Today has not been a good day for me, no. No, not for video games. I, sh I really should have played a baby game. Today would have been a good baby game day. I'm just totally off. that time. I don't know. He teleported onto me? Vinny, did you know that in Italy, polenta used to be the rich people's food while pizza was for the poor. Polenta was made from corn, which was bought from the colonies while pizza was bread with some vegetables and cheese, an all-around meal. I did know that pizza was considered a poor person's food, because it was like the leftover dough. You just throw some sauce and shit on it. But I had no idea about, about that stuff with pull. I didn't even know corn was in it. Like I said, I ate it and I was like, well, I don't know what this is. It may as well have been placenta. But the cool thing is that Italian immigrants made their poor people food and made it good because they're now not poor people in a new land. Well... There's still some places in New York City that carry the Neapolitan tradition. Like how they used to make pizza. Or at least as much of that way as they could. Ah. <laughs> 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 
forget, I think it's coal ovens are no longer allowed in New York City. Like, if you have to be grandfathered into having a coal oven. I think, or it, it might be wood. I'm not sure, it's one of those two. Oh, good. Oh, that's over. More bab clutch. And again, this is more just to see what the boss looks like. New York can burn. Good chat message. Good human. I would burn with it. You've been watching the stream for hours. That seems so counterproductive. And it can't because it's mostly made of concrete. can of worms with that one, didn't I? So speaking of burning, I think it's coal. I think it's a coal oven that you're not allowed to have anymore in New York City. So if you have a coal oven, it's from like a hundred years ago. And you have the license still. And there's a couple places in New York City that still have it. Honestly, I don't notice a difference. It doesn't really make a difference to me how you make the fire. Some people notice it. Some people can tell the difference. But, I'm not able to. Pizza is... Pizza is, is life. And for me, that life is comprised of three main things. Number one, you start with the dough. It's gotta be amazing dough. And you can do thin or thick crust, whatever, it doesn't matter. The dough has to be good. It's more important than people think it is. And, um... There's a place, there's a place that specializes in really good dough in their pizza. And it turns out, it's pretty fucking awesome pizza with mediocre sauce and cheese. Like, generic sauce and cheese, but their dough is so good that you don't even really care. Sauce is next. And I feel like too sweet and mm, it kills the pizza a bit. Too salty and you lose it a bit too. So it's got to be kind of a just right. And I also, I, I prefer if the sauce um, isn't cooked before the pizza is. So if you put the sauce on the pizza and then cook it, you get a, a really rich flavor. That's my personal opinion, at least. Um, little oil is good on there too, you know, maybe some basil. And then cheese can be a number of different things. People do fresh mozzarella, which is like, you know, that's the margarita pie kind of thing. Margarita pizza. But I don't give a shit what it is. Just if it's mozzarella, whatever you do with it, I'm sure it's gonna be great. But if you put a single piece of fucking pineapple on that pizza... I swear, so help me God. Ah. 
Oh, this is the, uh, you can use your charms in this fight, I guess. The ones that are normally breakable. No, and cheese does matter, don't get me wrong, but I've, I've had pizza... ...with just generic mozzarella that was actually really good because the other ingredients were so good. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I hope you enjoyed. No, 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 no! Someone said I've only beaten this guy once in my four playthroughs. This legit took me 150 to 400 to 200 tries. This took me four hours. No, 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 no. What's the uh, what's the reward? Do you get like insta kill nail? Level 4 Grimchild. Bab is fully grown. You get lore. Okay. Your son becomes very powerful. Does, uh, does my son shut the fuck up? So, I just want to check out the beginning of this God Master thing. So, I have to go to the Coliseum for that. Get a key, and then do something. It's like almost 3.30 a.m. I really shouldn't be doing this. Um, okay. Let's, let's take a look. Where is the Coliseum? Coliseum is there. I can get there. Through, I guess this is the quickest way. Get the key, then go to the sewer. Listen, that boss fight, I could- I could see people doing it. Maybe I could do it with four or five hours. I don't know. It- it was very fast. Yeah, it was very, very fast, yeah. Very fast. No one believes you to finish it. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, you're trying to bait me into it. This is not an Agent 3. Picture this, Agent 3 was 100% completion on Splatoon 2. That was like the only thing I had to do left for the single player. I had to do it. Don't let the bugs win. Trust me, they've- they've already won. Every time I see a house centipede... They've won. This isn't... Wait, this isn't the Coliseum.
so what do I have to do in the Colosseum? Do I actually have to complete something, or do I just grab a key? Because that, that is going to be, you know, highly dependent on whether or not I continue. There's just a breakable wall. whole new world. Teleportation shit. Oh, 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 I see. character was was a little annoying but maybe there was some lore in there I don't, I don't know maybe it was a rabid in disguise as people in chat are saying I got the journal entry Forgotten champion of the Colosseum, drawn away by strange, strange obsessions. This odd creature is unaffected by and unaware of the disease drifting through the caverns. Its madness is all its own. Good lore. Sounds like me. Obsessed with ducks, clowns. Meats. Definitely meats. Slime? I still haven't made slime. 
Everyone else is making slime. I'm not making slime. Slime girls, maybe. I'll go to the sewer. Oh, she's still, you know, she's still in the spa. After stealing all of my money, Denny. It's nice to see after all this time I could still fall for the same spike on the old elevator trick. the king of hollow nest to banish all elevators but especially spiked elevators I I am the king no if you <laughs> wait a minute no, I died. How am I alive? How is Hollow Knight alive? Regular Knight. Knight dude, friend. How is this dude alive? Because I didn't beat the game yet, I guess. Uh, let's see. So I have to go to the sewers. Where specifically? Like... Here? <sighs> Sewer bench? Like, like here then. I can't believe we're doing 4am stream after I said the other day, no more 4am stream. I blame society. But really, I blame those fuckers that were guarding the flames. This is the wrong way. I mean, let's face it, what am I even going to end up seeing? Because I'm not going to do the boss rush. It's cool. It's a cool new area. Okay. It's a 
cool new area, then sure. If it's just meat noises, then maybe not. Okay, where where to, chat? Oh my god. ceiling. Oh, I see it. So this just wasn't in the game before the DLC released. I like how even in the, um... The DLC that people have been waiting for, they still have to hide it behind a, like a hidden wall. This team cherry just does not give a shit. Pussy asshole fuck. Here's that cool stuff everyone was talking about. Neat stuff, slick stuff. apart unfolds this place is disgusting it's where all the lost and found of the kingdom goes maybe junk pit. A cocoon chained with a simple lock. Use the simple key. Welcome to Staten Island. It's easy to pick on Staten Island, but it's harder to find good things to say about it. Which is what I try to do from time to time when I'm not talking about how it's a dump. Because it's not, actually. It's really nice. God Tuner. Device that resonates with beings of great power. Seek the gods of Hollow Nest. Tune their power through their strength. Ascend. Crawler, thou cringer, thou smallest of the small, by what right doth thou 
dost thou trespass here in this home of the gods? Shrivel away and be gone, be gone. Multiple memes per sentence. Like, I didn't even... second looking for a very specific thing where is it where did it go guys, we have a free hi guys we have a 3d spinner for your phone you can control it by moving the icon So these are all different boss rushes. Like some kind of suicide squad. I see. I like this boss. This is this is a boss I can I can defeat maybe. Maybe. That's good. That's good. See, I can take the damage. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You have to see the secret boss here. How, how about you just look it up online? <laughs> secret in the top right. So let's see what that is. And then I, I'm really tired. I know I, I decided to stream this game late, but I didn't expect the clown DLC to take that much time. So where is it? Directly up third. I wonder who finds this shit. I wonder if the developers... ...are revealing this, or just people are just finding it.
crystal dash from the wall. You can just jump into it. So I have to crystal dash from here into it. Oh, I see. Holy fuck. That's a hell of a fucking hidden secret. Well, I mean, most secrets would be hidden. That's why they're called secrets, right? You would hope it's a hidden secret. Otherwise, it would just be a thing. It's Zote the Scroat. So it's a funnier character than we've ever had. So we have you fighting seven of them at once. Oh my God. Wasn't there another boss that they showed off during E3? That was not Zote. It was a round painter lad. If you get to 57, you get a new menu theme with Zote. There are some new bosses, but you'd have to do boss rush to get to them. All right, it, it's cool. Clown DLC was cool, this is good. There's a lot to do, but there's also a lot of old stuff to redo. What can I say? It's Hollow Knight, it's more of it. I'm done. I'm good. I'm gonna say that if you have the game, you're probably already playing this or have already played it. But it was worth checking it out for a minute, and uh, if there's any new bosses, I'm sure there's there's footage online. I would like to check them out. At the same time, I kind of don't want to because I am so far away from the game by now, and I definitely feel like I got plenty of my money's worth. So, no, no ragrats, but damn, the stream went late. As I've said, it's a great game, and now there's even more reason to come back to it, but you have to be the kind of person that wants to suffer and continue doing bosses forever. Let's see if I can wrap up the art in a very quick fashion. Someone drew James with boobs. Uh, okay, so... Here's some art from Battle 300. This is like a 1980s John Carpenter movie version of Meat. 
Here's a BRB from Arctic Aortic. That's a cool theme for a BRB. Really, really good animation there, too. Tune Master 90 made some vine sauce related Animal Crossing stuff. Cool. Maybe one day I'll, I'll use it if I go back to it. And I might. From Zim Zagoon. Interesting uh, vine shroom. Kind of almost looks like something you get fondue from. I don't know. It's late. I don't know what I'm talking about, but don't worry about it. Nice work. This one is from 8-Bit Decay. And lots of Shy Guy Mario blooper things including some cooper shells and piranha plants. Uh, pen shading, looking good. So here's one from Summer Times, and it's a stream starting shortly. Nice work. Definitely will use this. James the Tactician made Jerry Seinfeld. Or in this case, George Costanza. From Young Cricket. Nice work. Morky Main made Endless Trash. I like that a lot. That will be used for a Sunday stream, possibly. Hell yeah, made this. Vinny, don't stand so close unless you want to get hurt. A dud. Speaking of, here's one from Jonathaniel. A dud. But it's Homer. I, I, I don't know. There's a video for context with the thieving magpie. I, I don't, I don't know. Thank you. Uh, from Ninti. There's me. Nice art. Then you have this one from Alina D. I wouldn't even really know how to describe what you'd call this the style of like not expressionism. I'm sure there's some way you could describe it. But it's cool. Expressionism is more emotional rather than impressions of the external world. So it's definitely not that. Surrealism, I guess, is a better way to do it. See, I learned. I, now I know what expressionism means. I'm sure at least a couple of you did too. Here's some Hollow Knight art from Shin Turrican. Great fucking work here. Amazing, amazing shading. So, great shit. Love it. Irene Elizabeth M. made some Red Vox art. Stylized. I don't have a blue Gretsch, but I think Dave Grohl does. But great work. Dr. Ignis Spiris made this. It's a vine shroom fire flower. It allows you to shoot trash from your fingers. Miss Manor or Mrs. Manor made this. <laughs> no chat, it's not me. It's very clearly the same person. Just, I don't have eyebrows. That's the only difference. Uh, nice work, though. Cryptid Kitten made this BRB. Animated pixel art. Growing from a fish tank. From fish bowl, rather. Four AM art. Real art hours. So that's great stuff. Here's one from Vine Lore. And listen. It says here, now that I think about it, I hope this isn't too inappropriate to post. 
I just wanted to redraw the whole James with fake boobs thing from the band episode since Vinny brought it up. I mean, it it is from a real episode of Pokemon. I can't fault you for drawing it because it's been mentioned like four or five times in the past couple days. So, you know, I can I can let it slide this one time. I'll let it slide right between the... From Eva, E-V-A, Rydican Skywalker. I hate you! What a painful play session that was earlier. From Uberon. It says here, I started drawing this after Dead Cells and finished it just now. Wow. Well, fucking awesome. It's uh, inspired by Dead Cells. I think it's great. Nice color, too. Well, I mean, that's the Dead Cells look, but I, I think it's great. From Cheeky Minatos. I guess this kind of makes it worth it. Like I said, revisiting a game I completed and haven't thought about in a while and returning to the DLC can be tough depending on the game, especially if it's like ball-numbing difficulty. So Hollow Knight may be not the best candidate for that kind of thing for me, but I enjoy the art and I'm glad to have revisited it and uh, I hope the Hollow Knight fans enjoyed it as well. From Internet Kraken, here's the um, the things I had to kill, or rather the things that killed me mostly. Uh, this is the reason why we're having a 4 a.m. stream at the moment, just to let you know. And from Internet Kraken, definitely their fault, not mine. And uh, Internet Kraken made this. You let the bug win. I did. I accept. Well, there you go. That's the stream. That's the art. Thank you, Hollow Knight. It is done. Metal Gear Solid 2 will continue soon. The Messenger will continue. Um, I'd like to do more Dead Cells eventually. And uh, who knows what else? Maybe a 3D spinner? I don't know. 4 a.m. stream hours are now over. So get yourself some sleep or some day or whatever it is you're going to do now and, uh, and enjoy. Thank you for showing up to the stream. Thank you, anyone who stuck around for this late. I am committed to my next late stream not ending at 4 a.m. So, yeah, let's let's try let's try to stick to that. We'll we'll see. If you want to check out some other streamers in the meantime, go to uh, vinesauce.com or twitch.tv/team/vinesauce, and you can see some other good streamers. Or you could wait here for the auto host. Dyer's live. Vigibum is live. Check them out, and uh, I hope you do. So, take care. Just do more early streams. Actually, I might do an early stream tomorrow. So if you're around early-ish, I might do that, because tomorrow night I might um, try to go do some stuff. It's Friday. I've been, I've been not doing a lot of stuff on the weekends for the past couple months, so now that the summer is kind of almost over, it's been like, oh, I should go and make the most out of my weekends. But I'll let you know. Maybe we could do some messenger early tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, goodbye.